So, let me get this straight. This is a Friday, and I am here playing a game. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that. I'm gonna have to go get me a beer. I think after this game, I'm gonna go get me a beer, maybe some chips. Oh, first, I gotta go get a movie, a red box. First, and then I'm gonna come back. Well, may, may, maybe then I'll just go get a 12 pack, and then come, because I don't have. Anyway, wh why? I'm playing a game. This is IBB dropping in here on the Dead City. I have a griffin with some splash damage, and I'm gonna shoot some people in the face right now. And then later, I'll go go have beers and pizza. 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 That sounds good. It's a Friday night. What else are you gonna do? All right, let's shoot this carnage in the face right here. All right. Shooting of faces. Check. Let's go over here. And, uh, jump away. Yep. I have a crystal ball that tells me what these people are going to do. <laughs> No, actually, it's just sort of the same, same. Once you play the game for a while, you get a feel for what, you know, you get a feel for how people are acting. You know, you see these bots, uh, uh, different setups, players will, and I'm, I'm trying to think while I'm trying to. Oh, man, I played this one wrong. <laughs> Uh, ah, well, yeah, I got him. If it wasn't for that carnage, I still would have been dead. <laughs> so anyway, what I was trying to say is you kind of get a feel after a while for the different setups that people have based on how they are acting in that specific bot. And I'm not going to be able to do anything to that guy, that, so I'm just going to hold my fire. And I will see about coming. We need this beacon back. This is our home beacon. And, you know, this is actually, on this map, one of the most irritating things is when they want to come over here. And I don't know what it is, but when I go test their their side beacon on the other side of the map, they've got five guys over there to defend it. But when they're testing my side, I've got me. Me. And that guy. <laughs> All right, what you gonna do, Mr. Rhino? Hmm? All right, so I'm gonna try and, I hope he doesn't stick his nose out there too far. Okay, he's doing a good job. Um, so I'm trying to shield him with my shield. And it is completely down now, so I'm just gonna come out here and unload. And then I'm gonna get back, and I'm gonna get some help from that griffin. Awesome. Otherwise, that guy's thunder would have just taken its toll on my shield. And this is sort of the bad thing about having Orkins with an Ansel shield on a Lancelot. Is that you're slow, and then once your, your payload is done, you're basically just poking people in the eyeball with a stick, and that's all you're doing. All right. So I am just going to hang out here. This guy is just going to shoot at my shield. I know what he's, his plan is. Alright, so I'm going to stand over here because I just have this feel, my crystal ball. Yeah, it's saying that they're just going to come back over here. So I'm going to sit my, my tiny little butt right over here. Actually, it's not so tiny. It used to be. Anyway. <laughs> just let that one go. It is a Friday. No, I haven't had anything to drink yet, but... Smoke? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Alright, I don't want to stray too far from from cover here. And that is a Leo. And I might be in trouble. I don't think I have backup. Uh, where's my blue arrows? All my blue arrows are over there. So I'm in trouble. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Oh, there's my backup. A little too late. For me, anyway. Alright, two Leos. There's no way with two Orkins I would have been able to handle those guys. The only thing I would have 
would have been able to do is just retreat from the area. All right, so I think I have uh, the guys from the Fallen Clan. Uh, I am in an awful lot of games with them, and they're pretty good. So he's just not going to provide an easy target. However, I am curious why he's going that way to protect himself from me when I've got other, other teammates over there. Give me your damage. And he's still doing it. All right, empty my clip here. All right, we're doing well. Doing well. Let's go up here and shoot some more people in the face. This guy seems like a nice target. And then maybe this guy. Yeah, it's a free throw. It's like shooting ducks in a barrel. Cha ching. Uh, that is the guy that I just took out, isn't it? Oh, he was with he was in the Leo. That's what he was. Shoot you in the face. And I don't suspect that guy from Fallen Clan is gonna come up here. He's got some mid-range weapons, so he's just gonna stick back there. Or I could be wrong. I'm wrong from time to time. I need fresh batteries in my my crystal ball. <laughs> anyway, we had a pretty good run in that griff. Let's get back in here. Take out the Galahad with some plasma. And recently, I had a pretty severe losing streak. In fact, my win percentage dropped to about 34%. Uh, I was in the Master League, and then that drop ended up dropping me down to Expert, but I do believe as of the recording of this game, I am back up into the Master League. I do believe. Uh, Rhino, Mr. Brock Lesnar, I've ran into him a couple of times in this game. Oh, he's got attitude. He got some attitude. So these rhinos, that if he had splash damage, he probably would have had an upper hand on me. But uh, with plasma, uh, the Galahad actually has the upper hand on that one. Looks like we're gonna bring this home for a win. We met them out, and we got the beacons. So spent most of my time on the right side of this map, didn't I? Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. I have new gameplay videos every single day. I have lots of fun. It's what we do. It's my thing. 8.35 and I get third on the scorecard. That's just not right. I'm going to get a movie, a pizza, and some beer. We'll check you later.